Hello! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to be potting up some of my favorite philodendron that I have been propagating in water for a couple of months now. I'm so freaking stoked to get these potted up. I have them right here. I will show you them in a second. Also, all the blankets here. This is Olive's nest that she's in right now, so don't mind that. Um... Okay, I guess I'm just gonna get ready here. Wait, did I even say what philodendron they are? We're gonna be potting up, you can kind of see them here. But we have my Florida Beauty, which I posted a video a couple months ago about me completely chopping it up because of thrips. And then also we have my philodendron subhostatum, which has been just like, I don't know, chilling in this water for too long. It's very, very well rooted. My regular filming camera um, is sent in for repairs right now so i'm filming on my old camera um so if the quality is shite for a couple of weeks here you guys i'm sorry hopefully sony will be able to repair it though i'm just getting my potting mat set up here i'm actually using a brand new one that i have added to my potting mat collection from leaflet of course yeah she launched some new designs and look how freaking cute this is okay it's a beautiful like light blue and for some reason i'm really into blues and greens right now especially blue especially this like light blue love it so much but even better than that are the adorable buttons these ones have heart-shaped buttons it's so so sweet i think that she just launched these um and obviously this is the first time i'm using this one so I'm very excited. Ooh, this is a nice and big one too. I will have this link down below. Um, I think I still have a discount code with her, so I'll put that there. But yeah, I just, y'all know I love these potting mats. I really like these like solid colored ones too because it's really good for filming. You can see clearly what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh, you guys just missed the action. I saw that my battery was dying, so I just turned off my camera to go change it. And this knocked over onto my carpet and spilt like more than half of the water out of here and i ran so fast to go get a towel to soak it all up thank goodness it's just water but if you have carpet you know it's like kind of stressful <laughs> i'm like so worried about things spilling and um yeah luckily i haven't like stained this carpet or anything since i've lived here but um yes okay so what should we do first i think okay look at these adorable like hand painted little pots these were made for me by my plant friend Tara, which is just like the sweetest. I'm so excited to be potting my plants in these. Like how freaking cute and thoughtful. I love them so much. I think this one was actually made by her partner because it's signed on the bottom, but yeah, so stinking cute. So thank you guys so much if you're watching. But yeah, okay, let's, um, I guess we'll just start with the Florida Beauty. I'm gonna move this out of the way though so it doesn't get knocked over again. Okay, so the Florida Beauty. I will link the video where I cut this up down below if you haven't seen it yet, but it's looking actually really good. Like all the leaves look pretty freaking phenomenal on, oh my gosh, it's even put out a baby leaf. <gasps> I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh, let's take a look, let's take a look. How stinking cute, which one is it on? Oh, I see another growth. Oh my gosh, there's so many growth points. <gasps> you guys, we're gonna have a full plant of this. We're gonna have a full plant of this. It's gonna look even better than it did before I chopped it. Okay, I think it's, the baby is on this one. I don't wanna damage it. Wait, where is the baby? Oh, it's on this big one. This big, beautiful one. Oh, I love this cutting so much. Okay, I'm getting too excited. I need to like be gentle here. There we go. Let's put these back in. As you can see, they're all like fairly well rooted oh my gosh i can't tell if it's like all green or all light or if it's gonna have any variegation sometimes it's hard to tell with the florida beauty until it hardens off but either way we definitely have a new leaf so that is so exciting and look at this the mother cutting wow absolutely 
gorgeous. I'm seriously obsessed with this. Like, how pretty. How stinking pretty. Okay, let's take these all out, maybe. Did you even see the roots? They look... This camera is a pain in the butt when it comes to focusing. It doesn't have good autofocus like my other one. Look at those roots. Gorgeous. And then we have this one. You can see I still like there was you can see there was some sphagnum on these roots, but it didn't seem to bother it rooting in water. This is actually really really well rooted um, and you can see that there is a growth point there there looks incredible and that is what the leaf looks like incredible half moon leaf this plant oh my gosh like I seriously I can't believe how pretty it is oh and this one has two leaves okay so this one has two smaller leaves and then a couple of roots and a growth point again. Amazing. I am so excited to get these potted up. Now, as you saw, those were just rooting in water and I had them rooting in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I don't even think I, I think I maybe filled the water up like once, like added, topped it off. But other than that, like the humidity is high enough in there that I didn't really have to do anything to maintain them. So yeah, super easy to root them all. I do also have some rooting in my prop box. So I'll have to show you guys those in my next like update, which I guess won't be until what month are we in? Have I done a March updates? I try to do one a month. I think I did at the beginning of March. So I guess in my April updates, maybe I'll show you guys. Or maybe I'll do a whole video about my prop boxes sooner than that. But regardless. Okay, I'm going to be using this pot for this plant. And I'm going to be giving it back its moss pole. I've been saving this. This is a moss pole that I took it off of in the original video so we're gonna be using that again it's from trifolia love their moss poles so much and i have my potting mix beside me here it's actually spilling out of here i always need to vacuum after i film because it's just you know plant stuff everywhere okay i guess i'm just gonna pot it up <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be growing this plant out again. I was so sad when that happened. Oh shoot, we need the moss pole. There we go. It actually like fits perfectly in the bottom of this pot. Okay, so I filled it up a bit and then I'm just gonna place these around. Actually, I can fill it up more, I think. And I guess I'm gonna be putting this back into the IKEA greenhouse cabinet, at least until it gets established. I have grown this plant outside of the cabinet and it did just fine. Um, but just to help it out a bit while it's getting established. We'll keep it in the cabinet. Whoop. Okay, so. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna get a piece of plant velcro to just kind of help this one stay up a little until it roots because if you can see when I just let it go, it's just kind of like leaning towards um, the lip of the pot and then the growth point. I don't know if you can see but the growth point back there is going like straight into the edge of the pot. So I just wanna like secure it so that it's standing a little bit better. I have some pieces here. Let's see if these will work. Oh, 
okay there that's like perfect so obviously that's just temporary it's not the cutest look in the world but it will surely help just support that guy until it roots in here the other ones all look really good we have a growth point sticking out there not buried too deep or anything and the other one right here looks awesome so yeah i'm super happy with this i think that this is going to look absolutely amazing once it gets settled and starts growing just in time for the growing season two we are not letting the thrips get us down you guys we've restarted and we're gonna grow an even bushier more amazing plant so that is the first one and i'm just gonna water this as normal i'm not gonna wet the moss pole or anything because it, it's kind of pointless right now there's no we're not growing up it yet so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and that is it for this one all right so next we are going to do the subhastatum cuttings and this water is pretty nasty um luckily it dumped like the water was clear on the top luckily that's what dumped on the carpet it just looks like plain water so that's good but anyways okay so this plant uh it's definitely like overdue to be repotted it's been trying to put this leaf out for quite some time now it's kind of like weird it needs a good wash as well it's like pretty dusty this is kind of a plant that i was just like starting to neglect a little and i really want to turn that around i think it deserves a lot more attention and um yeah i'm excited to be creating a bushier plant oh my goodness okay let's pull these out Woo! Oh baby, they are like soldered together. This is gonna be fun to get them all um, untangled, but yeah, wow. There's a little baby leaf that came out there too. Okay, let's tease them apart here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I get so nervous pulling on them. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's try another one. <laughs> oh, I think I'm tearing some. Shoot. Oh, well, at least there's lots to go around. Oh no. Wait, did this one not root at all or did I just... I think maybe this one didn't root at all. Because I don't think I just tore all the roots off of that. Maybe that one will have to stay in water longer. That's weird. This is very stressful. Okay. Um, this one is like dangling. Okay. We got this one free. Little cutting with two leaves. I don't know if there's like a hack to loosen roots up or like... Okay, so we got this one free. And we just have, I think this is just two cuttings left. With two leaves each. Oh boy. Just gently. These ones have so many roots. This, These are the two cuttings that like the majority of the roots were from. <laughs> like, holy crap. They're like seriously melded together here like i can't even tell oh man oh man oh here we go here we go awesome okay we got them apart wow yeah these bad boys are well rooted as heck very very well rooted okay look at the back of this one like how pretty is that i love the backs of these Okay, so yeah, I guess that this one just didn't take. Maybe I'll put this in the water with my silver sword cuttings, which I don't think I've even rooted yet. I don't know what I'm going to do about those. I've just been like waiting it out. Okay, I'm going to go wash this algae water off of my hands. Now, I was thinking that for these, I was going to put them on a bamboo stake again. Um... This is what it was on before, but it was very unstable. I think I'm going to try it again, but actually stabilize it, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just like, I have so many moss poles to keep up with, I need to like really slow down on that a little bit. I love moss poles, but 
yeah it's a lot to keep them moist and everything okay so i'm just gonna fill this up same thing plop these bad boys in here oh i guess we need to put what do i keep forgetting to should i put it in the middle maybe then i guess okay it's like down to the drainage hole I'll just put the cuttings around it then they can just have support while they're growing do you guys ever feel like you need like four more hands when you're repotting because I sure as heck do oh boy okay okay so we just have to add the potting mix now while keeping everything in place So I guess that's it for this guy. This bamboo steak feels a lot better in here. Um, obviously nobody is able to be supported by it yet, but as they grow, I will just um, be plant velcroing them to this. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll end up repotting this and then I can actually give it a moss pole in the future, but for now, at least we have, you know, a steak of some type. So we're going with this. I would love to know if you guys grow with trellises other than moss pole or other than something where the plant like roots into like i guess if you just have support stakes i would love to know how your plants like it like do they still mature do they still grow really well because right now i feel like i'm like on this train of thought where all my plants need to have moss poles because i want their aerial roots to grow into them and absorb nutrients and I think I need to start exploring other ways to have my plants climb as well. So let me know what you do. But yeah, that is this guy in his cutie little pot. Look at that. So sweet. Love it so much. Let's take a look at both of them together. So cute. Oh my goodness, I love philodendron so much. Should we go do a little update on the silver sword just, just for funsies for the end of this video? Let me go grab it. Uh oh, you guys, this is not looking good. Let me move these over. Oh man. I don't know why I've had, this is, this is like the hardest time I've had rooting something in a long time, but this is like looking nast. Okay, so I guess the leaf detached from this one and it's just a nasty, soggy piece of stem. And then underneath, I, I'm guessing that this was attached to that. It's like floated down. Okay, this is kind of gross. It's like floated down and it's just like a wet stick living at the bottom of this. How has that not rotted? I have no idea. And it even has a growth point happening. I'm gonna take that out and put it in my prop box maybe. It doesn't really smell surprisingly. It kind of does actually. It kind of smells like a fish tank. <laughs> I'm gonna change the water and wash these off and try to clean them up a little bit but oh it looks like this one might be detaching soon too oh man maybe i should just put these wet sticks in my prop box i think i will do that actually because this is just not not going well for me all right so that is going to be it for this video i hope that you enjoyed repotting these beautiful philodendron with me thank you so much for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps me out leave me a comment i would love to chat with you and i will see you in the next one bye
Ride till I'm pissed too high.